Ayo, duckies, Andy Lippy here. So, yeah, as the title suggests, everyone keeps saying groups are broken. They are pointless and they just don't work. I had an hour run over at Twitch explaining how people just keep using them wrong. And that reminds me, come on over to twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy. I'm cooking up some incredible stream things. You'll get loads of sneak peeks. Just, just do it. Oh, and if you stay all the way to the end of the video, you'll see a super sneaky look at one of the things I'm working on. Put your rock in for the stove. Groups in OBS are so handy. They can keep your OBS organized a lot more and even make adjustments to all the sources at once in there. This will make your OBS look so much tidier. Just like you can make your whole stream tidy with today's sponsor, Own TV. Own TV is the one-stop shop of a streamer's dream. You can completely upgrade your stream with their professional looking overlays and alert packages. You can even get yourself brand new emotes, bit badges, sub badges, and even create your own custom ones with their custom creator. They also offer so much more. You definitely need to take a look for yourself. And if you see something you want, just crack in my code Andy50 at checkout to save yourself a whopping 50%. Thank you OwnTV for sponsoring this portion of the video. Let's look at the problem. We can create a group in OBS by pressing the plus sign and pressing group, or we can select all the sources we want to group together, then right click and press add to group. You'll see the group size fits around all of the sources. Now, if we start moving the sources around and pushing them outside of their current bounds, they will start behaving a little weird. It will just look a little janky. This can all depend on where the current positional alignment is and if there is a bounding box. If I change it to center, you'll see it's now moving very differently. This means when you start using Exceldro's move transition plugin on a group, it might make it go all weird with everything moving around. So let's deploy our secret hack. As you can see, if I add another source into the group that is outside the current boundaries of the group, it will extend the group size so it fits inside. This is actually what causes most of the issues as if the positional alignment of a source is top left, like it is by default, the top left corner position is X zero and Y zero. If we keep moving the source left in a group, it cannot go into negative numbers. So it causes a bit of a headache. So with this in mind, we can set the boundaries of a group by creating a blank source. I'll make a color source and resize it to whatever I want the group size to be. So select color source and press control plus E. We can change the size parameters in here or we can just click and drag the corners of the source. Now we are happy with the size, we can add it to the group we made earlier. If we open the edit transform menu, we can see when we move the source around the X and Y coordinates just make more sense now. We can move all of the other color sources all around easily. And now when we add a move source filter to the group, we can get it to move into different locations. As long as we keep it within this group size, it will work perfectly. Now you're probably thinking, but, but Andy, I, I don't, uh, I, I don't want this white color in the background. Yeah, just hide it. OBS still maintains the size as if it is visible. The best way to look at this is to see the color source as your canvas. As long as whatever you are putting in the group is within that boundary, it will work perfectly. There are other ways to get this to work with things like bounding boxes and setting the group size, but I'd recommend the color source method as it's more stable and reliable and in my opinion looks easy to understand anything that fits in the color source works fine now you don't have to have a million nested scenes and you can easily add these groups to other scenes by pressing add source and pressing group since you're this far in the video i'll give you a sneak peek at what i'm using groups for yep it's in the style of the new iphone's dynamic island i know it looks cool, right? Let me know in the comments if I should keep it for myself, give it away for free, or sell it. If you want to see the development of it, come and visit twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy. If you guys have any questions on groups or just anything content and streaming related, come and see me here on YouTube every Wednesday where I'll be answering 
anything at all. A huge shout out to all these incredible people that help me do this content full time. If you want to support and keep the channel alive, all my links are below. So please consider joining Coffee, YouTube memberships or Patreon. A special shout out for Armed Gamer, Auditive Modality, Bongo, Koi, Fever Team and Marcus Vasquez for being the top supporters. And then click here if you want to know more about Move Transition and click here if you want to see some of the other crazy free products I've made for your streams here. See you over there. Put your rug over the stone.